All right, what's up, guys? So, some disappointing news from YouTube. Um, I'm not receiving my 100K plaque, and I don't know if I'm ever going to receive a 100K plaque. I did the math, and I should be able to get one next year. But after doing some more reading around, now it's saying something along the lines like, I guess if I've had videos get demonetized, then I might not be able to get a plaque. And I'm like, fam, I feel like every time I upload a video, it gets demonetized. Like some videos might get taken out. But then, yeah, there's other videos where it's like they just randomly get demonetized. Like I'll have gaming videos. I've had Mortal Kombat videos get demonetized. But it's crazy because you'll see trailers ads you know all these different like all this different mortal Kombat content my thing is this what's crazy is that a creator could just overall just be playing mortal Kombat on their channel gain a hundred thousand subscribers off of it you mean to tell me that that person is not eligible on receiving a uh 100k plaque or a play button of some sorts but it's like fam people Hey, you the, probably at the YouTube headquarters be playing Mortal Kombat. It's not like, oh, when I go and sign up to or uh, fill out an application to work from you for work for YouTube, I'm signing my whole life away. Like I can't play Mortal Kombat. I can't have fun. I can't do this. I can't do that. I know. I refuse. I refuse to believe that that's how YouTube work. But my thing is, is this though? What I'm confused off of is that. Who's watching my videos at the end of the day? Is it the people at the YouTube headquarters or my fans, my audience, my supporters, people that have been with me for the past 14 years when it comes down to being a content creator? Yes, you guys have provided me a platform, but at the end of the day, it's my audience that's watching my videos. So it's just, I find it crazy that it's like you guys are speaking on behalf of my audience on whether they're going to find my videos disturbing or not disturbing, but the videos that you guys have taken down from like 2015 and they had been up for years, not once did any of my fans come to me and be all like, oh, hey, t Moss Bus, I found that angry grandpa reaction video disturbing. I found your reaction disturbing to this video. They have, like, for those that are new to my channel, yes, they have taken down reaction videos where I don't even say anything on my part. I'm just reacting and just giving my honest, my honest, genuine reaction whatever is going on in the video i'm like fam i can't stop that i can't prevent that but what's crazy is that that video will accumulate millions of views right and then when i upload my reaction that only accumulates a thousand views my video is disturbing what sense does that make and it's I, it's like come on now that's something where it's like you guys have to understand that there is some sort of weird behavior going on with youtube I like if you guys want to say everything positive underneath the moon about YouTube that is 100% your opinion but I'm like I'm getting a different experience you know where it's like I done put 14 years of my life into YouTube all I ask for in return is my 100k plaque and any other play button I get I don't get it because I've had videos some not all some of my videos go against the guidelines and some videos uh get uh, uh demonetized and I'm supposed to just be like, oh, okay, well, yeah, I guess. And I, that's something where it's like, okay, my thing is this. This ain't no different than, let's say, uh, me and whoever the higher-ups in YouTube, we're all living in an apartment. I pay my uh, monthly rent every month. Every month, all right? I clean up, you know, after I'm done doing whatever and things. Like, I am overall putting in my keep at this apartment. I decide to put some protein shake in the refrigerator and i'm getting kicked out because oh because based off of youtube's guidelines but i'm putting in my keep i'm earning my keep i'm doing everything possible by the book by the rules all i just want to do is just put some protein shakes in the refrigerator and things now i'm getting evicted does that make any sense I'm saying because it's like and overall what I mean by that is like I know at the end of the day YouTube has to be making some sort of money off of my videos so I really find it weird where it's like okay I know you guys ain't just allowing me to just live here rent free I know you guys are all like okay you got to earn your keep you got to do something you got to overall provide for the YouTube platform I have done that I have managed to bring a hundred thousand people together on this channel I've managed to accumulate 60 million views so I imagine you guys, I that's something where I just, I overall don't know the math on how much money, uh, you know, like 60, 60 million views, like how much that would translate into a dollar. But I imagine that YouTube has taken some off of the top. So all I ask for in return, it's like, if you guys are going to be making money off of me, if my videos are going to be going all over, and yes, I very well could go somewhere else and things, but 
I'm saying like what other video platform out there is going to be bigger than YouTube? You know, I guess like, yeah, if a video platform is uh, bigger than YouTube, then I will take my business there. But if not, then it's like, and this is honestly the best possible shot, um, best possible shot that I have at being a content creator and stuff. Yeah, I could go to Twitch, I could go to TikTok, I could go literally anywhere else in the world and stuff. But I'm like, when it comes down to making videos, YouTube is where it's at. I'm over here giving you guys your flowers, and it's like I can't just get a 100k plaque in return. So yeah, it's like, of course, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. And I'm gonna be a little upset over it because I'm like, fam. I, me personally, I don't feel that my videos have went against the guidelines. And if they did, I don't think any of my fans was traumatized by my videos. Who gets traumatized by a reaction video? Who gets traumatized by a voiceover video? Who gets traumatized by a video of me making fun of racist people that I dealt with in a video game? Who gets traumatized by stuff like that? Like, honestly, though, I, I didn't had, let, you know what? No, let, let's just look up some of the videos that I've had get taken down on YouTube. Just reading off the uh, titles because I have uh, kept up some of the uh, videos. Oh, it's just showing a lot of my like podcasts. Maybe if I like, maybe like not publish or visibility, um, private it. I guess like I I don't no that don't that don't work. That don't work. But overall though, it's like I have had um videos. Dang, I got like over two thousand pages. Okay, so there's the one video um, that, uh, yeah, the Psycho Kids Halloween blood ba- um, bloodbath. And that was a video uploaded by uh, McJuggernugget, uh, McJuggernuggets. And I'm thinking to myself, fam, you, a lot of you guys have subscribed to me over the Mc, uh, McJuggernuggets reaction. So I imagine a lot of you guys, and what's crazy, right? What's crazy is that I can copy and paste this video. Um, and I, and that, that would honestly be insane. If I look this video up right now and it's still on YouTube, then I'm like, so you'll allow the video on YouTube. Let, let me just see. Yeah. It's like the original video is still up with 12 million views. My video had got taken down at 3,000 views. So it's like, it, it really shows like YouTube is making money off of their creators. And then it's like anybody else. Oh, then they're the ones that's going against the guidelines. They're the ones where it's like, oh, I got to be punished and all this other stuff. No, nah, that's somewhere I'm like, look, after thinking about it, I was just going to let this go. But I'm like, fam, I've came too far as a creator to just let this go. So at some point in time, whether it's this year, whether it's next year, no, it's stuff like this. You got to take a stand to it. You got to like stand up to stuff like this because that's not cool. It wouldn't be no different if it was the other way around where if YouTube, if I was like the higher up and YouTube was underneath me and they felt that something shady was going on, they're not going to want, no, they're not just going to just sit back and just let stuff just happen to them. No, they're going to take just like how they took a stand to my videos and take Taking them down and all that stuff i'm doing the same exact thing because i'm like nah bro that's not cool that's not cool to have it where it's like you allow the original video to be up and it's like all i'm doing in my reaction is laughing saying oh my god this is crazy this that blah blah talking about whatever is going on in the video it's not like i'm encouraging you the thing is this they can put up every single one of my reaction videos i never once encourage people to go out and do any of this stuff because there was even another video that they had took in um took down from my channel and it was an ultimate parkour uh, uh fails reaction i never once and that video only got uh 778 views i never encourage people I'm like hey go jump off of uh some staircase or something and uh yeah attempt to break your neck i've never said that in any of my videos and I'm like, why would I even want somebody to do some stuff like that? And it's like, no, it's my thing is this. There's other ways for me to find my entertainment when it comes to YouTube and all that other stuff. I'm not going to put people's lives in danger for my own personal entertainment. And there have been videos where I've seen where I'm like, I know I overall can't. There's no, there was one video actually in particular that I had watched where I was like, there's no way possible I'm going to, uh, no, I ended the reaction video and I was like, that video will never see the day of light. I deleted that video a long time ago. I didn't even upload it onto YouTube. I deleted, I stopped the video halfway through the reaction, deleted the file and I said, I'm moving on. But so anyways, it was, I can't remember which, um, one of those like, uh, body cam, um, cop channels that I was watching. But anyways, they had posted a video of a, uh, motorcycle accident and you can visibly see the guy dead on the ground. Why would I want to react to something like that? I don't even like looking at dead bodies and stuff like that when it comes to videos. 
why would I want to react to something like that and then show it to people where it's like there might be people in my like audience, people in my fan base, my supporters where they've never seen a dead body be before and that comes down to like real life or on the internet. They do their hardest to avoid that type of stuff. Why would I put that out there? Versus like, so videos, and what it's just crazy to me where it's like, it's videos like that that will remain up on YouTube because, oh, it's uploaded for educational purposes. But it's like me just overall giving my audience a good laugh or just having something that we can overall talk about, that gets punished. I, yeah, it, it's like, you know, I was just going to let this stuff go, but I'm like, nah, man, I got to talk about this until I get my, I ain't going to stop talking about it until I get my 100k plaque, because I'm like, this ain't fair, this ain't fair underneath, underneath any circumstances whatsoever, so, yeah, I did, I was originally thinking, like, you know what, I'm just going to forget it, but I'm like, no, I'm going to talk about this, of course, on YouTube, on my podcast, TikTok, Twitch, literally everywhere, if I got to start a whole campaign about getting my 100k plaque and any other award that I'm deserving, um, deserving of when that time does come so be it but it's like nah man that's just that ain't fair to a creator where it's like i put in like my literally my blood sweat tears heart soul everything about me into promoting your guys's website bringing an audience to your website and i don't get nothing in return besides oh hey congratulate i'm the crazy thing is it's like i feel like i ain't got more congratulations and all this other stuff from everybody else besides youtube so that's why I'm like, nah, man, I, I can't, I'm I'm sorry, but I cannot let this go. So be prepared on seeing a lot of different videos of me talking about this until I do get my 100K plaque. But um, no, nah, I just, but yeah, I, I, I can't let this go. So, but anyways, I am going to make me something to eat because I am a little hungry. So anyways, thank you guys. Stay tuned for the next video and peace.